I'm not getting involved in your business to hurt you, Kirsty. I'm just concerned as a friend that you might be making another big mistake. Really? Like the one I made with you? Brett. You're coming home now. Jo will be home as soon as she's finished giving her statement. There is no statement. Excuse me? Robbo's told me everything and it's absolute rubbish. Do you know what he's done to her? Charlie, I'm sorry. I can't believe you were doing drugs with the band. I wasn't doing drugs. Does Aiden know that you've been popping pills? No. Fire, yeah, this is a story on the council planning permits. Uh, yeah, no, it's almost done. I got some great quotes from the developer's lawyer. She said way more than she should have. Yeah, it means you're asking the right questions. These stories you've been finding lately have been right on the mark. Thanks. As for the volume, I don't know when you sleep, but keep it up. <laughs> Your wife's on the phone, Jerry. Hey, man, we better run if we're going to catch this movie. Uh, yeah, just give me a sec to shut down. Yeah. Since you're so hot right now, maybe... You can finish this. 1,200 words on Jerry's desk first thing in the morning. Oh, and you'll have to stop by the hospital in the morning. They want to confirm the stats in there. That's if you're up to it. Are you with me? So I guess I'll be watching this movie on my own. I'm sorry. I promise I'll make it up uh, to you. You know what? It's you that I'm worried about. This job's crazy. When are you going to get time to do normal stuff like eating and having fun? I've got the rest of my life for that. I don't wind up, I'll probably be here most of the night. All right. I promise to keep this weekend free. All right, no work. Promise. Yeah. Yeah. It was a couple of years ago, but it stayed with me. The girl was really badly beaten. And I remember thinking that the boyfriend was involved. There was something about him I really didn't like. But she refused to speak out against him, so... She seemed scared? Yeah. I reported it to you guys, but I never heard anything back. Why? What's happened? Up until now, nothing. The girl stuck to her story that it was an unknown assailant. Do you recognise this guy? Yeah, that's the boyfriend. That's the answer I'm looking for. Thanks, Rach. No worries. When it comes to love, I feel like there's a target over my heart and a sign saying, stab here. Okay, well, I take it things aren't going so well with Kirsty. What is it? Is it the way I dress? That's it, yeah. Okay, I'm going to the toilet. I might not be back. Well, like, while you're here, I've put that money I owe you. Oh, thanks, but it's not like I'm hard up for cash at the moment. Oh, have they paid Jack's insurance money into your account? Yeah, I'm still trying to get my head around it. It's a lot of money. Mm. Any thoughts on what you might do with it yet? Something special? Something big? Well, maybe you could buy yourself a little unit or, or invest it. Mm, maybe. I'm waiting for a sign to come along. But when the right thing does come along, I think I'll know it. Hey, thanks for meeting me, guys. Um, I just need a little hand getting something together for tomorrow. What's going on tomorrow? Well, it's no secret that I've been a bit of a mess since we lost Jack and Rachel stood by me all the way and I'm not sure she really knows what that means to me. So, I thought there's no better way of showing her than asking her to marry me again. Oh, Tony, that's fantastic. Mate, that's the best news I've had for ages. But if you need me to do anything, I'm all yours. Me. Me too. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. for me to check the stats on that report. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rach, that's my boss in there. Is he all right? Oh, God, of course. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, he and his partner were involved in a car accident this morning. They're both fine. They're lucky they weren't more seriously injured, though. I needed to talk to you about your ex-partner, Robert Cruz. Whatever he's done, it's got nothing to do with me. I haven't seen him in ages. Okay, for your sake, I'm glad to hear it. Look, I've changed my life, where I live, where I work, everything. Okay, I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear that Robbo hasn't changed. We're pleading a case against him for an assault on a young local girl. 
Of course, if we knew he had a history of this kind of thing, it would help us. I don't know anything about that. Tanya, I promise you, if you speak up, we will do everything we can to protect you. This is the only way we can stop Robo from hurting anyone else. Okay, you can make a real difference here. Tony, love, I couldn't be happier for you. Rachel is going to be thrilled. Yeah, well, that's the plan. Are you going to do something special at home? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, candles, lights, the right music, you know. Uh, hey, listen, Elf, I can't get away from the gym this morning. Can you pick some stuff up for me? Yeah, sure, as long as you don't want any decorating tips. <laughs> Tony, this is so romantic. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very romantic. Oh, you're not going to start up again, are you? No. Did you get a ring? Um, actually picking up an antique brooch from the city this afternoon. Rachel saw it, loved it, and she's already got a ring, so this is the next best present. Oh, Leah, um, Rachel was thinking that I'm going to pick her up this afternoon. Do you reckon you could do that for me? And can you get, make sure she gets home straight away and not get a sus? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm so nervous, actually. It's not like she's going to say no. <laughs> is it? No, of course not. Don't worry, I'll make sure she comes straight home. Do you still want me to do something about the flowers? Um, yes. Could you pick some up from the flower farm out at Yabby Creek Road for me? Mate, there's a florist in town sells roses. Yeah, no, I'm not talking a dozen roses here off. I'm talking 115, mate. One from each day that we were meant to get married before. Strike me flaming answer, and that's going to set you back a few bob. Apparently it's called romance, Alf. Oh, actually, don't worry, mate. I've done my research. There's someone for a third of the price out there. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm up for a drive. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you take Bugalugs with you to give you a hand, eh? Mm. This is hush hush, I'm not going anything top secret. Absolutely, yeah, my oath. I don't want uh, Rachel to suspect anything. I want this to be a big surprise. Hey, Joey. Tried calling you a couple of times. How's everything going? Fine, I guess. I mean, I miss working on the boat. down the station with this robo. You're kidding, aren't you? Do I look like I'm kidding? Let's go. Wait, wait, take your hands off me. Need a hand? No, I've got him. He's all mine. Hey, he didn't do anything. Well, he has nothing to worry about then, has he? You're wasting your time, you know. Get in. All right. Police station, thank you, driver. Charlie, what's going on? What are you doing? I told you I wasn't going to let this go. I didn't ask you to do this. Believe it or not, I'm doing this for you. I'm responsible, he's gonna come after me. Again. 